So in today's video we're going to be going over the 13 LEGO High Potter sets which are set to retire this year in 2024 so if you haven't got any of these 13 sets and you do want to pick them up you haven't got long left. The first of which is the 2023 Weasley's Wizard Weezer's Diagon Alley set which came out in June of last year. So this set has only been out for about a year or so but it is already set to retire at the end of this year. Now a lot of people may not have bought this because they have the big UCS Diagon Alley set but I do need to pick this one up because LEGO are planning to release play sets of all the Diagon Alley shops so we can buy them, put them all together to make a big play scale Diagon Alley, which I am so down for, but I haven't bought any of the play sets yet for Diagon Alley, so I need to go do that now. The next one is Expecto Patronum, which also came out in June of last year. I do own this set, I think it's a pretty good set, and I'm surprised that a lot of these June Summer Wave sets are only lasting about a year on shelves. Usually they last two to three years, not one year. The good news of this set is it's on sale basically all of the time. I think I picked mine up for £37, which at a £62 retail price, I think it is, something like that, that's a pretty good deal. Now for a set which came out this year, yeah, it's the Forbidden Forest Magical Creatures which is going to retire this year. So this set isn't even going to last on shelves for more than a year. It's actually only going to last on shelves about nine months if it retires in December which is the expected date. It came out in March of this year and to be honest the set is kind of nah. When I heard about the rumours of this set coming out I was really hoping we would see some more centaurs and maybe some other creatures and animals that we haven't seen before in lego but for this set we just got animals and creatures we've already gotten before in lego and also the actual build the trees just look rubbish not even the minifigures are interesting about this set it's just so disappointing so i'm okay to pass on this one Next up we have the Hogsmeade Village Visit. This is a set from 2021, the 20th anniversary of Lego High Potter. So this has had a good long run on the shelves and it's finally going to retire in December of this year. If you haven't picked this set up, I highly recommend it. It's a really, really cool set. I've actually built a mock around my Hogsmeade Village Visit set, which I may revisit in a future video, but I absolutely love this set. I absolutely love the minifigures. You get the Professor McGonagall minifigure, who doesn't have a hat, which is the first time we've ever gotten a Professor McGonagall minifigure without a hat, ever. We also get a Ronald Weasley golden figure to boot, so pretty cool set. I'm sorry to interrupt myself, but I have something to tell you guys about. Today, I'm gonna to tell you about what not. I'm gonna break it down for you. Here's a three point argument of why you should use what not. Number one. I use whatnot. Number two, there's giveaways. And number three, we've got a nice little community on there. If you enjoy these YouTube videos, then you'll probably enjoy my whatnot live streams as well. If you don't know what whatnot is, it's a live streaming platform which you can access using the app on your phone or on the web browser on your computer. And during the live streams, I host a bunch of auctions for Lego minifigures and Lego sets. And on Monday the 16th of September, I'm going to be hosting another WhatNot live stream, selling over 200 Lego Hypona minifigures and sets, all starting off at just $1. And if you use my sign up link down below, you will be given $15 free credit as a sign up bonus to use on my live stream so you can get yourself some free oh Lego High Potter minifigures. Oh, yeah. Definitely go ahead and check it out and even if you don't want to buy anything, you don't want to be missing out on the five good ways I've got in stock for this next stream on Monday the 16th of September. I'll see you there. The next one I find really funny, it's the Astronomy Tower, which came out in 2020. So this set is now four years old and it is finally retiring. I do not understand why this set has remained on shelves. It is a mystery to me because we had the 2018 to 2020 Hogwarts expansion system, which this is a part of, that retired for the 2021 to 2023 Hogwarts Castle expansion system. It still remained on shelves, even though it was an outdated Hogwarts Castle set. And then we had obviously the 2024 to whatever year, Hogwarts Castle expansion system now on shelves. And this thing is still hanging around. Like who's buying this now? What I will say though is it is a cracking set. I just wish it wasn't so heavily themed on Slughorn's party with all the minifigures 
but other than that, it is perfect. The next set due to retire is actually one of my favorite LEGO High Potter sets of all time. It is the 2021 Chamber of Secrets set which is now due to retire in December of 2024. You can get the set on sale at about 25% off roughly in both America and in Britain. I don't know about wherever else in Europe, but this is a really cool set. Comes with some fantastic minifigures, especially that Professor Sinistra, also the Basilisk, which is a brand new mold for this set. And I think this set is fantastic. I think this is the first set to introduce the Cornish Pixies as well. And it is a great set, it is the primary set to build your Hogwarts Castle around in the 2021 to 2023 Hogwarts Castle expansion system. This was the primary set. Next up we have a set which has a very love-hate relationship in the LEGO community. It is the big UCS Hogwarts Express Collector's Edition. It is finally retiring. I'm not sure if I had the greatest of runs. It's been on sale now for about two years, which isn't the longest. I mean, you have the 2018 Hogwarts Castle big UCS set, which is the first of these big UCS Harry Potter sets, which is still on shelves, which came out obviously in 2018. That's six years, that's still going. The 2020 Diagon Alley set is still going strong. We had the 2021 Hedwig, if you remember that, that's still going strong. Obviously the Gringotts set from last year is still going strong. So the first one to fall of these big massive Harry Potter sets is the Hogwarts Express. This set was also the most hated in the minds of a lot of people because it wasn't to be motorized and to go around on Lego's track. It's actually just a display piece. It can't be played with in any sort of way, but I quite like this set. So, you know, that's obviously a dodgy opinion, I guess, out there, but it's a really cool set and it's a shame to see it retire so early. Next up we have the Dumbledore's office set from the summer of 2022. So not surprising this is retiring considering it is a part of the old Hogwarts Castle expansion system. It's a pretty decent set from the outside, the exterior looks pretty good, but the interior of this set for me is so disappointing. I do like the fact we're getting Mrs. Norris though, because in the 2018 Whomping Willow set where we got Filch, we didn't get Mrs. Norris in that set, so I'm glad they fixed it here. Next up we have another 2021 to 2023 LEGO Harry Potter Hogwarts Castle expansion system set. That is the Room of Requirements and if you guys are still needing some of these Hogwarts Castle expansion system sets to finish your 2021 to 2023 Hogwarts Castle, then this is really your last year to pull that trigger and buy some of these sets because you all seem to be retiring. But regarding this set, I think it's a really cool set. I bought this day one and I think it offers really good value for money. And actually, you can get it on sale right now for about £10 or $10 off. I had a look on Amazon before. So, yeah, highly recommend picking up this set. Then we have the Quidditch Trunk, which came out last year, last summer, in June of 2023. And I hate this set. I will not be buying this set because I think it's just a waste of money. Um, I've made my views clear on this before. Let's move on. Moving on to a much better set, we have the Battle of Hogwarts set from summer of 2023. It's already retiring this early, which um, I'm surprised because it's one of my favorite Hogwarts Castle expansion system sets ever because you can build two parts of the castle. You can build the courtyards, or you can build the Viaduct Bridge, which I think is really cool. We also get Bellatrix of Strange with arm printing. Oh, such a good minifigure. <laughs> Next up, we have the Shrieking Shack and Whomping Willow set from June of 2022. And I highly recommend picking up this set, not only because it's really good, but I can't see Lego reproducing the set in quite a while. The last time they built the Shrieking Shack before this one in 2022 was 2004. And even if you're not too keen on the build, which I don't really know why you wouldn't be, those minifigures are to die for. So again, highly recommend picking up this set before it retires in December. Next up, we have the Triwizard Tournament, the Black Lake, or the second task, whatever you want to call it, which is retiring this year in December of 2024. This came out in spring of last year and is kind of relevant right now with the release of the Durmstrong ship. And I highly recommend picking up this set. It does have some really good minifigures and it also leaves some really good minifigures out. There's some really essential characters which should have been in this set as minifigures, but alas, we didn't get them. But still, really cool set, and I highly recommend picking it up. Right, that's going to be it for all the LEGO Harry Potter sets which are scheduled to retire this year in December of 2024. Now, just to say to you guys, this is a provisional list, so... 
Things can change around. Lego could give sets um, extensions to keep them on shelves longer if they are selling well, or they could do the opposite. They could retire them early if they really want to, if things aren't really working out with that set in terms of the sales. It's all about the sales, but this is a provisional list which LEGO intend to carry out to retire and axe this year. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more LEGO Harry Potter content. I've been Topic Bricks and I'll catch you soon for another LEGO video. Bye guys.